Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation. But remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, the square root of 2n minus 88 equals the square root of n over 6. Okay. Well, hmm, first step. Both square roots are already isolated, so I can just square both sides. Let's eliminate both of these radicals. Leave me with a 2n minus 88 on the left and n over 6 on the right. Now this one's tricky, okay? This one becomes a little tricky because how do we get the 6 over there? How, what can we do? There's a, there's a few things we can't do, okay? And this is what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to multiply by 6 to both sides. But be careful, we have 2n here. Right? So I have to multiply it to everything. So I'm going to put the 6 over there outside. Can I create these new parentheses? Put the 6 over there. So now the 6s will eliminate. Okay? But leaving me with 6 times 2n minus 88. 6 times 2n is 12n, right? I'm going to distribute fantastic. Minus 6 times 88. What's that? Well, we got to solve that, right? So I'm going to do it right here, right? 88 times 6. Okay, well, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 carried the 4, 8 times 6 is 48, plus 4 is 52. So we have 528 here equals n, okay? So that's tricky here, but we take our time, take our time here. And so, from there, I need to simplify, so um, there's a few ways you can go about it. Um, so, uh, so I'm going to... Well, let's go add a 528 to both sides. Right, there's nothing there, and we'll subtract the n to both sides. Leaving me with 11 n on the left equals 528 on the right. Okay? Hmm. So now I have to divide by 11. Okay? So divide by 11 to both sides, giving me n equals whatever 520, 11 and 528 is. 11 goes into 528. Uh, 11 goes into 44, 4 times. 44 is less than 52, so we're good. 44. Subtract them. Uh, 52 minus 44 is 8. Bring down the 8. 11 goes into 88, 8 times. Uh, 8 times 11 is 88. 0, fantastic. So n equals 48 is my final answer. But now I need to check. Okay, so I'm going to check this. So I'm going to rewrite my equations. 2 add minus 88, try to keep my space here, equals the square root of n over 6. Well, let's go plug in 48 in for n here. So square root of 2 times 48 minus 88 equals square root of 48 over 6. Okay? Well, let's see. 2 times 48, what does that come out to be? 2 times 48 is oh, 80, uh, 96, right? 96 minus 88 equals the square root was 48 divided by 6 is 8. 96 minus 88 is 8. Square root of 8 does equal square root of 8. Oh, check. We're good, right? So fantastic. So n equals 48 is my true answer. So let's recap. We were given the square root of 2n minus 88 equals the square root of n over 6. Okay? I squared both sides, giving me 2n minus 88 on the left and n over 6 on the right. Multiply both sides by 6, leaving me with 12n on the uh, distributing the 6 over here. 6 times 2n, which is 12n. 6 times 88, which we found out to be 528. I had a 528 uh, to both sides, subtracted the n, giving me 11n on the left, and 528 on the right, positive 528. Divided both sides 11 and got 48, so n equals 48 here. I then needed a check, so I rewrote my equation right there, and I substituted 48 in for both n's. What that allowed me to do, then simplify 2 times 48, which was 96. Subtract by 88 gave me an 8. Here, 48 divided by 6 was 8. And square root of 8 does equal square root of 8. That's a true statement. Confirming that we have no extraneous solutions and that n equals 48 is my final answer.